This is Dan Bjorkel, an agronomist with the Landis Growth Solutions Center. And I'm standing in a field, northeast Iowa by Hampton. And what you're seeing here is tar spot. You can flip that leaf over and you can see that it's completely uh, compromised the entire leaf. They do not scrub off. We also have northern leaf blight out here. Um, conditions have been very favorable in northeast Iowa for the development of this disease. And you can look at almost every leaf. And it really is just dotted with what looks like tar that was just taken with a paintbrush and flung on these leaves. And characteristically, they go through, through the uh, the leaf, what we learned in Illinois last year, and this is up to the ear leaf, that untreated, this could take a plant down in 14 days with pretty significant uh, yield loss. So when you're out in a field, you need to basically look at these leaves for areas that are raised. It's got a really black structure there. You can't can't remove it with your fingernail and it goes all the way through. In further, you know, ex exploration of this field, there's a couple more structures and then I just flip that leaf over. And again, they've compromised the entire leaf. Every leaf is compromised here. And with the cooler conditions for next week forecast, this will just continue and by the end of the month, even though you know we're halfway through August, we'll have these plants senescing and you can have 20, 50, 100 bushel yield losses with this disease. Well, this is Dan Bjorklund again out in another part of the previous cornfield. And what I'm finding, northern legions there, northern leaf blight there, northern corn leaf blight uh, there. These legions are, you know, five, six inches. So they're really everywhere. And in combination with that, then I don't even have to look very far. And you see the black dots that go through the leaf. So you got northern corn leaf blight and tar spot uh, coming in. Here's another one. And that's my big concern uh, in that this is sort of like the COVID of human diseases. Um, it comes, tar spot comes in, plants uh, compromised already, stressed. And you wonder why in 14 days it takes these plants out. Um, I look at field stress, those combinations of stresses, whatever they are, if it's uh, nutritional, which I, I've seen some nutritional uh, uh, situations here as well as I, as I walk into this corn. But what I'm really seeing is a lot of northern corn leaf blight. And this is an area that received more rain than, than other spots. And um, some of these leaves, some of these plants are already, already starting to senesce. And you can see northern corn leaf blight just about, just about in every leaf. And tar spot as well. So what we learned from Illinois last year is when tar spot came in, and if it was not treated within 14 days, a lot of times those plants senesced. And I would predict that's what will happen in this, in this field if it's not treated. And then the other question is, um, is it too late? Because this field has not received any, any fungicide at, at VT. And you can see the tar spot 
on these leaves. Yeah, it's on every leaf. And these ears are in, in dull state. Okay, so now I'm checking this beautiful ear. It's still in the dull stage. So 40% of the yield of this hybrid is still, uh, is still to come. And, and again, we've got tar spot pretty prevalent. And this was right at the ear leaf. I know it looks, yeah, not that bad, really, first time you see it. But 14 days from now, we'll come back and take a look. And the whole structure for this plant factory is the upper leaves. And if they get compromised and can't fill this ear, we will have yield impact.